In the previous video, we finished implementing uh, page rank using points distribution method, and it was uh, in most of the cases coming same as the ranking that the network x function page rank provides us. However, in some cases, the ranking was not similar. The reason for that was that our code was not handling the cases where uh, one node or a set of nodes have no outlinks. So in that case, all the points get accumulated in that node or that set of nodes. So uh, our code has to handle those cases. That's what we will be doing in this video. Let's get back to our code and see uh, what kind of measures are required to handle those cases so this is this was our main and here we were calling this function keep distributing points and let's get back to this function and see what it was doing so keep distributing functions was keeping on calling this function distribute points okay this distribute points was basically one iteration that was returning us updated points after that iteration right now after every iteration we have to make some changes to the points in order to handle the cases of sinks point sinks now how that is usually done let me explain that to you so basically what we do is after every iteration we we gather a fraction of points from every node okay and the points that we gather this way we then distribute these points equally amongst all the nodes right so basically uh, for example uh, after one iteration we get some points with all the nodes and after that to handle the same cases we take one more step and in that step we uh, let the node have 80 percent of its points and we take some 20 percent of the points from that node and we do that with every node and that's how we gather some number of points after that we divide these points that we have gathered this way amongst all the nodes equally now this is the way to handle the problem of sync uh, you can consider this to be similar to the tax system in any country where we take some say 30 percent of the salary from every person if their uh, salary is exceeding some value so the the amount of money that we gather this way that is distributed for the development of the rest of the people uh, or all the people in general so it's exactly the same scenario here as well uh, the the number of points that the node will be all the nodes will be keeping and the fraction of points that they will be uh, letting go is basically decided by a parameter which is usually denoted by s um, so usually we take s to be equal to 0 0.8 which means 80% uh, of the nodes points will be with the nodes and 20% of the nodes points will be uh, uh, let go by all the nodes right so let's implement that thing here uh, as you can see in this function keep distributing points we call this function and that's how we got the new points now after we get the new points let us take one more step to handle uh, uh, the sinks uh, let me for that purpose create a function so I'll write new points is equal to handle point sync let's call this function so let's pass the graph and the <coughs> new points here okay so we have to create this function now which will be doing whatever i just explained uh, that is it will be uh, taking 20 percent of the uh, points from every node and whatever we gather this way will be distributed to all the nodes equally so let's create this function <coughs> okay so as a first step every node's points will be reduced right every node's points will be reduced to 80% uh, of what they were so let me start a loop here for i in range uh, length of points uh, we can generalize it to maybe points and that's what it will be returning <clears throat> so for i in range length of points we have to reduce the points for every node so we'll write points i is equal to uh, points i into 0 0.8 so they become 80% of what they were earlier let me do the casting 
<coughs> okay so now every node has reduced points reduced to 80 percent now what should be done with the remaining 20 percent of the points that we have gathered from every node now if you know that uh, what are the total number of points that the graph had initially uh, you can understand that the, the total number of points never change they are only <coughs> sorry they are only distributed amongst each other so, so the nodes will keep giving the points to each other but the total number of points never change okay so we're going to uh, use that fact uh, to know what are the points that we have gathered okay so if every node's points are, have become 80 percent we have gathered 20 percent of the total number of points that the graph had okay now what is the total number of points that the graph had we had assigned 100 points to every node okay let's see the total number of nodes let's store that here so i'll write g dot number of nodes okay so i got n here what will be the total number of points in the graph that will be n into 100 because we assign 100 points now out of this to these total points 20 percent is what we have now so that we can distribute to every node so i'll write into 0 0.2 so this is what we have okay now how many points do we have to distribute to every node we have to distribute these points equally okay so we will uh, divide it by n okay so that we get an equal uh, share for every node let me do the casting here okay let's call it extra now because this is the extra points that every node will be having uh, maybe uh, you can do like this as well okay so these are the extra points that have to be assigned to every node apart from the point that they already have so again we'll start a loop i'll write for i in range <coughs> uh, uh, length of points again okay so points of every node will become plus equal to uh, extra okay so every node is going to get extra points i think we are done so just return uh, the points these are the new points okay so we we passed old points to this function handle pointsing and it will return the the updated points which will go back to this function keep distributing points here okay so new points have changed this is what we passed and this is what we got okay so new points have changed since we have not changed the name so i don't think we have to change any other thing in the function let's see how our uh, program works so let's execute okay so these are the initial values and these are this is how the values are changing i'm just keeping on pressing enter and now i'll press hash okay so these are the values that we are getting 0, 059288 three seven so they are exactly matching so uh, we are handling the same cases so the values are exactly matching uh, let me tell you one more thing sometimes uh, there might be few differences with the value with the ranking that you're getting from the network x function uh, as i told you i guess one of the reasons could be two of the nodes are having the same page rank another reason could be you have not uh, let it converge it is going on and on and uh, it is taking a lot of iterations to reach an exact convergence point and uh, you're just stopping somewhere in the middle so that might also lead to a slight deviation from the ranking that you're getting from network x um, let me check uh, one more example here okay so this is what we're getting let me stop here four six five three two seven zero one nine eight here so we're getting the same values because we're handling the case uh, so in case you get the slight deviations also you needn't worry um, because you have understood the whole concept how uh, basically uh, point distribution is uh, similar to uh, getting a page rank because uh, apart from the mathematical uh, com uh, complexities this is what basically is the main idea behind uh, getting the nodes ranked based on the page rank values so this was about the implementation of page rank uh, using point distribution method so we are going to implement random walk method in the next videos